this beautiful British babe is Louise Rowe. Oh, babe, you say. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, babe. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, uh, the game we play here is simple. Two celebrity guests are going to tell you the same story as if it happened to them. But in truth, it only happened to one of them. Then it is going to be up to you, the audience, to decide... Who's, Who's the, the liar? liar? Yes, and if you fancy getting involved yourself, then log on to the chat room, which I shall be manning, and Andy's given me the title of... Chat jockey. Yeah, no whip still. No, nope, Third week sorry. in a row. However, you can email me your comments and your questions, and I will pass them on facts. And uh, bring it on. We need more questions this time, people. Yeah, she'll comments. pass them along to our yeah? celebrity guests, which makes us basically the coolest game on the internet. That's true. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I can do it louder. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you can. Yeah. Uh, but we can't uh, start playing until you and you get into All the right. chat room and I bring out our celebrity guests. So let's do that right now. Our first guest is a multiple Emmy Award winning comedy writer. His credits include uh, being one of the original writers on The Simpsons. He wrote on Malcolm in the Middle. He wrote on Frasier. He created a great show called The Troop for Nickelodeon. Uh, he also created a beautiful son named Charles Sinatra Kogan. Let's bring on Jay Kogan. Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice. High fives, high fives. That run in deserves. <laughs> Love that, jogging it in. Our other guest is a fantastically funny and talented actor. Uh, you've enjoyed him on myriad television programs, including Brothers and Sisters, Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip, Cursed, yeah. a little thing called Wings, which I think they're still don't making. Don't say Cursed. No, just go, 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 yeah, go on. He was funny. No, he was great, but just. <laughs> he was funny. <laughs> Uh, you're also about to enjoy him on a brand new show called Happy Town on ABC. He graduated magna cum laude from SUNY Purchase. Yeah. Uh, how about it, Stephen Weber? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Hey. 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 Oh, that's a bit rude. <laughs> 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 uh, double. Uh, did you, did you take, are you like showing the guns to get a bit more votes this time? Because you, you've taken <laughs> the, the gun. clothing off. The gun, the gun. The gun show. Is Fashion wise, you want to compare to me. Right. So, oh. it's blue t shirt night. Yes. Nice. Yes. Uh, you are, by the way, the glass of fashion and the mold of form. <laughs> Thank you very much. We like to quote Shakespeare here. Very good, oh. Andy. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, why don't we get right to it? Uh, before the show, our two guests were swapping stories. Yes. Uh, we've titled them and put them into this bowl of stories. Uh, at random, uh, we chose that Jay is going to go first and he is going to tell a story that we call uh, Way Down. Bullshit. <laughs> it's Jay's turn. Oh, sorry. I you're going to get two minutes on the clock. It'll start when you start. All right. Um, it may be hard to believe, but um, there are occasions where a woman will make out with me. It's, <laughs> it's not often. It's not pretty, but it happens. <laughs> uh, I have to meet the right kind of woman, a woman with uh, low self-esteem and a lot of class. And if I find that, then it's great. And so, But the woman whose eyes were ripped out by the chimp. That would yes. be good. <laughs> if, any, if any gal has been chimped, she's mine. That's how it works. Chimped. She, if she's been chimped. Um, I once had my, my, my junk chimped, frankly. It's a whole other thing. I was, uh, I was with this young lady, and I was in college, and uh, it was the... Uh, the very uh, first time that a young woman had gone down below. Uh, yeah. I did an oral pleasure uh, down there, and I was thrilled. <coughs> so it was the greatest 15 seconds of my life. And I'm very proud to say that it was a good time. Uh, and then she got up, and it was over, I guess. It wasn't going to go any further. She got up to uh, go to the ladies' room and uh, powder her nose or whatever she was going to. And, I, and I'm feeling great, and everything's great. And then I feel a strange sensation, and I, and I look down, and I see that my... My, uh, my, my personal friend down there is not looking good. Is looking very strange, in fact. It's looking like it's covered in something. It's covered in something red and webby and scarry and strange. And of course, I think I'm in the middle of a Twilight Zone episode. What the hell, is, what the hell happened? You're well, grossing me out. Yeah, I know, Get it's out. gross. 
Anyway, it turns out that, uh, that I'm thinking about, I'm going to go to the free clinic. Who am I, how am I going to tell my parents? This is the last time I'll ever have sex. She comes back, and it turns out she was chewing gum. <laughs> okay, and apparently that's the only way she'd do it if she had bazooka gum and could read the comics <laughs> while she was blowing me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yes, it was it was fine. Yes. Anyway, so that was the story of uh, of her uh, going down down below. Oh. Hello. Wow. <laughs> Uh, it was red and webby. You see. Yes. Well, wow. No, it's gum. Uh, you know, there's gum. And they are red and webby. Uh, I can uh, tell you that the that the uh, getting it off was an all other story. Uh, yes. <laughs> Shush. I'll let let me handle this. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was uh, I also had uh, uh, occasion to enjoy the oral pleasures of a. <laughs> <laughs> a fine lassie, <laughs> a long time ago, and uh, and uh, uh, yes, it was similarly brief and wonderful, and uh, I achieved sublimity, <laughs> as one does when one engages in the oral arts. Why are you going British? Huh? To I don't talk know. About it's, it's not even British. It's, it's a, a, a blowjob. Yeah, 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 right. 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 Is that what that's we right. do? Yeah. All right. <laughs> she, she, she massa massaged my willy. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, uh, and, um, and it, it, everything went well, and uh, we had to go our separate ways. Uh, and, uh, but uh, r roughly about 10 minutes later, I had this uh, inc very uh, uncomfortable sensation down there in Area X. And indeed, I went to the bathroom to figure out what the hell was going on, because it just did not feel like it usually felt, uh, especially after years of working the mouth of the Holland Tunnel. <laughs> and, uh, and so I went to the bathroom and discovered what looked like a kind of a, it, 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 like an invasion of the body snatchers, when, when the body is covered in a webbing, a kind of like a silken web, a kind of a cocoon. Uh, I don't know what was going on, and I was terrified, and I thought, what kind of sexually transmitted disease is this that it metastasizes, you know, in a minute? <laughs> You know, and, and so I hunted her down to <laughs> confront her uh, about what was happening, and I noticed that she was, in fact, chewing gum. And the aroma from the gum that she was chewing matched uh, the, the mess that had become my, my crotch. And I put, <laughs> I put two and six and a half together. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> wow. Uh, and that's it. A great story. Whose ever it is, um, I, I uh, Jay. My first question is for you: uh, Was Bazooka Joe just a joke that she was reading the comics, or was it? A, do you remember what sort of gum it was? Because uh, it looked like bazooka gum. It was like okay. red, chewy bazooka gum. It was college. Was she, was it was she reading the fortune? Gum. She was reading the fortune. At the no, bottom she was reading the, the comic. Thing. Yeah, the little thing in the fortune. The, 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 your lucky number is. All the, <laughs> right. It's fantastic. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, I, I subsequently bought a giant tub of bazooka gum, <laughs> thinking that it would attract ladies. <laughs> did not work out. Uh, uh, and uh, Stephen, was this in college or post college? This, this was post college. This was in New York. This was in New York. At, at in fact, it was at an acting class that I took in Midtown. And in those days, people would kind of hook up, and uh, you would do a scene, and invariably give a blowjob, do a scene. <laughs> <laughs> that, was that was the technique yeah. that I studied. <laughs> nice. Uh -huh. right. Stand a swallow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. That's so good. I'm finding your jokes okay. really funny. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. I love Thanks, that. Dear. Two yeah. and six and a half. That was brilliant. Good thing you were doing American Buffalo. That's right. Because you could have been, I mean, if the guys. I, it would have been terrible. Yeah. But uh, still, but it's, it, was the, it was the method that I was studying, so wow. I would have yeah, to. That's good. Uh, yeah. But uh, it, instead of gum, it would have been tobacco, I guess. I would have found yeah. tobacco in my. <laughs> I love that making it British makes it talking about something dirty. More People do that all the time. Yeah. And can I just ask why, whenever Americans do a British accent, it's like Oliver Twist, please, sir, can I have some <laughs> more? <laughs> do versus, we speak versus like what? 150 years <laughs> old? Is that how we because sound? That, that's a the, bit, right, that's yeah. the right a way bit, to do a bit. it. Sure. Because that's how you people sound. That's Thanks. Right. Uh, to us. Don't forget where you when came from. The Brits all do American. Yeah, Empire. Uh, Brits I do American. Really say that I get this at home. No, <laughs> Louis, uh, what, can we hear your American accent yeah. for one second? Sure, what do you want to know? Sure, yeah. what do you want to know? I think it goes yeah. a little yeah. valley girl sometimes, but that's okay. Wow. Wow. Very good. That's very 
Uh, back on point, do we have any uh, fellatio based interrogatories? Um, yes, there's <laughs> quite, you know, people are just laughing, really, at this. <laughs> um, was she a lesbian cop? <laughs> wow. um, was liquor involved from Straff God as well as gum? Uh, liquor was involved. Beer. No, okay. Beer was involved. Okay. Simple liquor. And um, someone has got some advice. Celeb Poker Forever says minty gum or mints are better. Just FYI, mm -hmm. next time. Um, oh, and, yeah, and and maybe that's cinnamon gum. So frankly, a girl chewing anything when she's down there, <laughs> I don't like <laughs> Had I known right. going in. Yeah. Not the best. No. How much gum was she chewing from Blinket? To me? Yeah. A wad. Apparently yeah. a giant wad. Right. Yes, I didn't know. I was not. I was too involved in the moment to know what that snapping sound was, <laughs> and I didn't care. Was she blowing bubbles? She was using well? it as a wedge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, she, I don't think she was blowing bubbles, but no. uh, something was going on there, and obviously residue was left. And what flavor was it? Are we talking with cinnamon? bubble gum from Jay? We got okay. Uh, it, was flavor gum. it was. It must have been a kind of a minty kind of a thing. It was like a, a trident. I think it was the blue trident. <laughs> we we may have discovered how the uh, the. Clark's T. Berry Shuffle. Was <laughs> that's that's reference. obscure. It's only about 40 uh, yeah, years That's old. very obscure. Da, 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 da. Sorry. Um, uh, so it was blue gum? Well, I, no, I don't know. It, n the gum itself wasn't blue, but the, the package was... No, it was like a, it was like a white webbing. No, because uh, gum... You know, oh, I see. The gum it was like a whitey like a gum white, color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like webbing, yeah. kind of a... Interesting. Well, if you haven't yet, please uh, vote for who you think the liar is. Who's the liar? They don't want to win this vote. Uh, they would rather you believe them. I'm a little torn. When you said the gum was blue, that was thrown because that doesn't look like metastasized. That's easy to say. Anything. But uh, any other questions while they're voting? What? I'm just <laughs> trying to figure out. So confused. Yeah, nice. Not real. Oh gosh, uh, there's some votes seriously coming in thick and fast. Some more. Keep it coming. Um, it's a bit rude. Why did it burn to both of you? We didn't. It burned. Did anyone say it? No, 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 no. They're projecting. So Whoever this person forever. is, is projecting. Can you just listen. Why does it burn? I, I, I thought I'm Stephen, doing many things. I thought Stephen did mention a burning, which is why I instantly thought maybe it was cinnamon gum. That's uh, what I thought. Yeah. And red, but you know, yours was red. Was, it was red. It was red right. gum, pink, red gum, and you just don't want to see webbing like that over. It's just not <laughs> over <nice>. anything. <laughs> yeah, over anything. Yeah, yeah. No. Frankly. What was her name? Becca. Becca. Really? On TV? And Stillwell? If you want to. So, oh, Becca you did Stillwell. it. You just went there. Well, Who I don't care. That? Becca Stillwell, call. I'm still here. <laughs> I got gum. <laughs> Do you want to share who you were doing this scene with? Or? It was Becca Stillwell. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what the scene was? Oh, God. It was, uh, uh, <laughs> I, I think it was something from uh, this thing called Bird Bath by a guy named Leonard Melfi. And, and made up, uh, made up. That's the lie oh, right uh, there. Uh, uh, yeah, and, uh, but who would do that scene? Wow. That's the lie. I, be, be, I may have worked on Becca Stillwell. <laughs> uh, say, Louise, uh, how's the voting? We're going to give it just a few more seconds. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if you haven't yet, uh, click through from the roomlive.com homepage where it says chat and view larger, and you'll see a chat window where you can chat for the next story, and you can also vote right next to that for who you think the liar is. Is there a button the that liar? makes me look thinner if I uh, press a button? They, they, <laughs> No. You look thinner uh, no. to me yeah. than you did Not six months ago. Right. Uh, uh, is Jay Kogan lying or is Stephen Weber lying? Go ahead and, and uh, vote. I'm going to vote that I think this person is lying. That's where I'm voting. Hmm. But it was tough because... Oh. We're both terribly convincing. Louise, uh, pray tell, what's the vote? Ready? Okay, you have all voted in your masses, and this is crazy for the second time ever in one night. Who's the liar? The liar is. You don't know, it's 50 50. Wow, I'm going to have to break this tie. Again, the power. Uh, as uh, Jay and Stephen can tell you, I've placed my mark. A little hesitantly, but next to Jay Kogan. Jay, I, I think you're full of crap. I think this is Stephen Weber's story. It's the, it's the idea that I got a blowjob at all, right? <laughs> no. Okay, okay, fine. No. <laughs> fine. I, and it was, uh, I'm going to suck you off now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, this whole pity thing is terrible. I don't think uh, the internet no, would no. let something like that be shown. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, so, uh, ah, if you were you. telling the truth, uh, Stephen, you're going to get one point. But if you were lying, you'll get two. So please, would whoever was lying please raise their hand? Oh! oh. I chose correctly. Ooh, Becca. Wow. Becca then? I made it up. Right. Yeah. Right Becca Stillwell. <laughs> wow. So that was that a name that you told him, or did you no, just stick with the Becca, line? Yeah, Becca Stillwell. Becca Stillwell. He writes. Uh, he wow. Writes. Uh, uh, before we move on to the second story, I'd like to just tell you that they're not just playing for honor. They are playing for up to $44 million in tomorrow night's Mega Millions drawing. And being the fancy celebrities that they are, I'm sure they're going to share an undisclosed yet generous portion of that amount with some worthy charity. So why don't we plug them right now because charities are good things. Jay, uh, who would you be playing to benefit? Uh, the American Cancer Society. It's uh, one of the few societies that's pro-cancer. <laughs> I think you misunderstand. A, yeah. What? Yeah. I think yeah. you misunderstand yeah. their yeah. mission. No? No, you should go on their website and okay. read it again. I'll check uh, it out. They are against it, and that, that is right. a good thing. Right. Uh, and Stephen, you are playing for? The Crohn's and Colitis <laughs> Foundation. Still. And they're against that too, right? They're, they are against Crohn's yeah. and Colitis. Two very worthy charities. I hope they both uh, win something so that they can donate a portion in the name of Celebrity Liar. Uh, because we do what we can for charity here and we do what we can to entertain you and to uh, do that again I'm going to select the another orange, story orange gourd from the venerable bowl of stories now yeah. to be known as the orange gourd bowl of stories. that's going into the Smithsonian right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Carson Carol Connor's chair Carol Connor's chair and the bowl of stories from Celebrity Liar uh, <laughs> two minutes on the clock please for Stephen Weber who will be the first one to tell us the tale we call we are family uh, what the hell is this I can't remember what it is. We are family. family. Is apparently... Uh, I, I'm, I'm blanking. Not... Uh. <laughs> not your story. Oh, my God. Oh, that's right. That's right. No, no, no. Okay. Oh. No, no, no. no, we not do title them. They, they give we us do. titles. Yes, we do title them, and sometimes they're a step away I from... I frankly forgot as well. There you go. I'm okay. happy that he did. Okay, so... Uh, are uh, we both clear on which story ready? it is that we're telling? I'm, I'm about to hear. I'm ready. Uh, Listen. Listen. You'll enjoy this. Uh, my wife is English, and uh, so many, and we've been together for a long time, uh, married 15 years, ate happily, and um, <laughs> that's our little joke. And, um, uh, and uh, when I went over to London uh, to meet her mother for the first time, she was touted, the mother was touted as a, as a, as a great cook, and I had met her, her uh, sisters before, and so we all got along great, and, but uh, I'd never been to see her mother, who lived in, uh, in Chelsea. <laughs> 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 and, uh, oh, oh, oh. Anyway, so, and so, um, so I went there, and everything was going great, but the, but the food uh, was, was left a lot to be desired, and uh, we, we gorged, I gorged myself on this thing called, these things called uh, scotch eggs, which was like an egg once at one time in, the, uh, <laughs> in, in its life, and it was now covered with some brown shit, I don't know what it was, uh, you know, but I was eating and kind of getting into it, and then dinner was served, and it was, I think, it was brown, it was gray, it was gelatinous, it was meat, it was something, I don't know what was happening, but I ate it, Trying to be the the you know the good new uh, son-in-law to be, and uh, I almost immediately got very very sick and had to go excuse myself to the bathroom, which was very close to the um, dining room, and had an experience in there that was incredibly <laughs> <laughs> explosive, and I had real and I came out I was paper white and weakened and I and everybody was looking at me and I apologized profusely. And indeed, it was my mother-in-law, this the, the English Rose, went in and wordlessly, happily, cleaned up all that was necessary. And I became a, a family member at that moment. I knew that she was my mother-in-law to be. Uh, <laughs> Again. Uh, it's you. It's not the chair. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, on our last episode, Stephen was sitting over here, and clearly Jay switched oh, chairs Jesus because he Christ. broke that one last time. Uh, wow, uh, I understand something very <laughs> similar may have happened to you, Jay. Well, in fact, you are correct, sir. Um, the way the story really goes, Hi -oh! Hi -oh! Um, is that is that 
Uh, my wife is from Houston, Texas. Bullshit. And it's absolutely true. <laughs> and there's a, uh, there's a restaurant in Houston, Texas, or at least there was at one time, called Antonio's. Uh, and Antonio's <laughs> is supposed to be like this. Or to, uh, well, there's Antonio's and there's Tony's. And Tony's is the nice version of Antonio's. It's Tony's restaurant. And we went to Tony's restaurant, and my, my uh, wife's parents, who's, uh, fa her father's name is Moose, Moose Mandel. <laughs> And, uh, and Jeannie took, took me there and they said, you know, eat up, eat up. It's the greatest food in, in, in all of Texas. So I went and I ate up. And uh, a few hours later, it, I saw that food again <laughs> because I got very, very ill. Um, and, you know, this is my first meeting. It's my courtship with my, with my, uh, my at that point, my girlfriend, but soon to be wife. We were not engaged. It was just us together sort of courting. And then I just had this, what, what is known as an explosion. Uh, and, the, uh, and it came out of both sides. It came out of my mouth and down below. So you have to choose where it's going, because it's not going, something's going in the toilet, and other places are going other places. And, and so you have to choose, and it just went crazy. And I thought, well, at least this is an opportunity for my wife-to-be to show that she can take care of me. And she immediately called her mother to come in and clean up instead. So embarrassing me. Uh, but uh, her mother did come up and help me because I was on the floor sweating in a, in a horrible sweat. And she came up and cleaned up and did ever said a word. And she was very sweet. And that's when I knew that I was part of Stephen Weber's family. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, wow. you, and you came out and Moose was looking at you putting a piece of gum in his mouth. Yes. <laughs> a piece of bazooka yes, gum. Just it's a whole at you. other Wait. section of the family. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so they call the fancy one Tony's, but the, the other one Antonio. Because, you know, fancy things are Tony. Oh, oh. Ah, look at that, a, a Texan pun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> which of the eight were the happy ones, the first or the inter you said? Uh, they were in, they're interspersed. That's oh. just a joke that we use. It's a good you know, joke. Married yeah. couples use it. Yeah, no. It gets a laugh every time. Yeah. Yeah. No, we, Even we on should. the internet. Yep. Uh, which is all jaded. They <laughs> <laughs> put it all on the sure. internet. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so uh, listen to an old vaudeville joke or watch somebody blow a donkey. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> boop, boop. It's unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jay, uh, this uh, episode where uh, Jeannie yes. came and helped you, uh -huh. was that still at Tony's? or No, this was back, back, at, that's back at, the, uh, at the old homestead. That was in a bathroom in their home. So so what did Antonio's and Tony's have to do with the whole story? Well, that's where I got sick. That's the food I ate. Oh. Was there. Not in their house or someplace where sure. you said. Sure. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, when you were uh, in the bathroom that was uh, perilously close to the dining room yeah. over there in Chelsea, uh, which end was it coming out of? It was coming out of my bottom. Gotcha. <laughs> my bottom. That was better. And, uh, and, I, and while I was sitting there, I was thinking, I, we're so close to the dining room table. I mean, well, I have to sort of. What, what part of my body would be a good natural silencer? Yeah. <laughs> what can I do to help kind of muffle? Uh, but you raffle. Think, yeah. I don't know. Do you have an answer? I'm asking you. I, I, I don't. I, it's a it's <laughs> <terrible>. smarty <laughs> face. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Shakespeare. <laughs> Glass of fashion. Molding. Oh, here we go. Diarrhea. Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what did he say about diarrhea? Uh, not too much. The bard. <laughs> <laughs> he invented the word diarrhea. Did he? Did. Yes. Shakespeare did. He yeah, thinks the brown <laughs> rivers flow. I think it's a trochee, or is it an anapest? <laughs> diarrhea. 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 Uh, uh, say, Louise, uh, what does the chat room have to say about all this Shakespearean diarrhea? They're loving the iambic pentameter, so I'll just throw that in there. Um, how long had you been dating when the... Asplosion happened, Jay, <laughs> from Explosion. Regina. Um, I think that we had been dating very short, like, um, I'm going to say four months. And what did you eat for dinner from Celeb Poker forever? Me? Uh, um, some horrible Texas food. I'm not sure uh, what it was. Don't remember. Don't remember. I'm not, I, I don't think it was something obvious like clams. Certainly didn't but it was, it, uh, yeah. it may have been just some bad meat. Uh, Strathgod says that Stephen threw up too soon. Suspicious. Food poisoning takes longer. Yeah. Strathgard uh, should know that I didn't throw up Strathgard. Okay. <laughs> I believe it's Strathgard. <laughs> whatever. I, I made a poo. Yes. I made a duty. So, <laughs> I didn't throw up. <laughs> yes. So excuse me. I actually, and also, as is a joke or, or something known in my, my long running relationship with my wife, my wife is that I process foods instantly while she has got to go through all sorts of rigmarole. But every well, time I eat, I boom, so I'm out. she will be so happy that you said yeah. that That's the truth. The That's the truth. Well, nice, Crohn's and colitis. It's not my <laughs> 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 
Huh. Um, what did your mother-in-laws say when they entered the bathroom? Uh, it was it was wordless. Right. There was nothing to say. Silence. There was nothing to say. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty. She just sort of <sighs> did this and went at it and uh, understood my Stiff discomfort. Right. Yes. Has it's the just, incident ever been mentioned again? Uh, not by her, because she is the perfect uh, gentlewoman. But by my in-laws, my, my brother-in-law and sisters-in-law, they uh, are constantly referring to me as the weak, whingy American, <laughs> the, <laughs> the weak, uh, you know, the weak uh, nether regions, or whatever, whatever they say. Over scotch there. eggs sounds delicious, by the way. It's scotch eggs, I don't even know what it is. What is a scotch egg? It's, it's, it's an egg it's rolled in... It's actually a hard-boiled egg wrapped in pork meat yeah. and then breadcrumbs. Yeah. It's a delicacy. Uh -huh. Slightly gross delicacy. Delicious. Delicacy. Yeah, yeah. And how about, has Jeannie <laughs> ever brought this up uh, ever since the... Uh, um, there, there's, a, there's a certain southern politeness that happens even in Texas and they would never think to say it. But I can see in her eyes. She remembers. <laughs> 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 Uh, if you, you have, have not yet, happened, <laughs> exactly. uh, go ahead and vote for who you think the liar is. In this instance, do you think Jay Kogan is lying or do you think Steven Weber is lying? They don't want to win this vote and I don't want to tie this time. I do not. No, well, we're not having it. We're not oh, going we, we to. Have more okay. of a, uh, One sicko called Bing K, you should be ashamed for yourself, has written in and said, would Stephen like to come over and throw up on me? Sure. No. Sure. What time is it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, nice. we're probably and you're paying scale? <laughs> <laughs> scale. I only do it for scale. Both people we have watching. Uh, interesting. I'm not sure. What was that? Houston. Two Jews, one cup. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you think there's no bad food in Houston? It's not possible? No, no, no. Actually, Houston is what's... I, I'm trying to decide who's well, the like, liar. Well, Houston, what's worse, Houston food or, or English well, food? I mean, English it's not so, worse. I've but the, I Houston. actually had good food in Houston, but the humidity made me sick. Like, it's uncomfortable. Oh, so it's, it's your story. In Houston? Yeah. Okay, enjoy <laughs> it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah, Andy. It's your story. Uh, I, yeah, that's right. We think you're lying. <laughs> 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 I... I Ah, is there a preponderance uh, voting one way or the it, other? Yeah, this time? Binket's now embarrassed and keeps saying she's joking. She was joking, but oh, she really? wasn't, was she? Mm. <laughs> I know that. Um, sicko. Okay, you ready? Because uh, we are. Uh, I'm torn. This time I'm tied. Uh, who does the chat room? Please Who's solve it for me. Who's the liar? Eighty-three percent of you brrr, think that the liar is Jay. Oh, Jay. They, they think this I really like happened. Cry. They yeah. think this really happened to Steven. I'm a, such a bad actor that everybody sees. To, that's no wonder I'm a writer. <laughs> uh, so I suppose by your uh, admission, or maybe you're just lying. Really, <laughs> maybe well. I'm lying <laughs> again. <laughs> maybe it's a lie upon a lie. Maybe, maybe that's a lie. <laughs> maybe you are. Uh, but please, if you were lying, would you raise your hand? Whichever of you was the liar. Who's the liar? Oh. 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 <laughs> wow. I knew you like scotch eggs, really. Huh? Scotch eggs are good, really. They're delicious. Yeah, that was a really yeah. nice touch. And also <laughs> the proximity of the bathroom to the dining room table was yeah. a nice detail. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks uh, a lot, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you're going to get two points for that round uh, since you were lying and you, the audience, believed Stephen Weber. But, Jay, it's not out of reach for you because we still have the lightning Fantastic. round. The lightning round works like this. Uh, before the show, both Stephen and Jay were kind enough to tell me some little tidbits, some true, some false about themselves. I've put them on these cards. Jay's going to go first, and he's going to read five of these supposed facts to Stephen Weber. And then Stephen's going to say true or false, fast like lightning, and then we'll uh, figure out how well he did after we're done with the five items. Jay, here's your card. I'm going to follow along here. And remember, like lightning, true or false? Like lightning. Like lightning. Ready? Tell me when to go. Go ahead. Peanut butter makes me sick. True. I make and cure my own pickles. False. My eight and a half year old son can speak and read Korean. <laughs> false. <laughs> I recently kissed a man full on the lips on TV. True. <laughs> I have never dated a black girl. False. Wow. 
Uh, Stephen did pretty well. Didn't he did he? pretty well. Uh, yeah, uh, you said it was true that peanut butter makes him sick, yeah. and that is indeed yeah. true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you said that it was false that he makes and cures his own pickles, and it is indeed false. That's yeah. two points because, for you. Uh, AJ. Yeah. Yeah. Our, our mutual friend AJ does yeah. that, and he stole sense. that truth uh, from AJ. Very good. However, a Charles Sinatra Kogan at eight and a half can read uh, and speak Korean. Of course, of Korean. course he can. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> uh, and you were right, of course, Jake Hogan has recently kissed a man full on the lips on TV. That's and easy. We've got to <laughs> find out <laughs> why. Uh, uh, and uh, he said uh, that he never dated a black girl. You said it's bullshit. false. And uh, he absolutely has dated a black girl. He was exclusively <laughs> dating yeah. a black woman for a long time. Once you go black. Uh, so that's uh, <laughs> four points. Uh, uh, putting it out of reach, but it's too much goddamn fun. Mm -hmm. So we're going to play the uh, lightning round in the other direction. Uh, by the way, that's uh, two in a row. That's uh, it's pretty <laughs> cool that someone is... Okay, okay. put it... Okay, please, uh, Stephen. <coughs> uh, <laughs> Jay, uh, yes. you've got to say true or false light okay. lightning. Ready? Mm -hmm. And Hank Azaria and I had a threesome with Talia Shire. <laughs> false. <laughs> false. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It was with uh, Debbie Reynolds. <laughs> uh, I, s I swam around Manhattan Island. False. I shaved my armpits to get Mitchum antiperspirant off. True. <laughs> <laughs> I once ate my weight in fried crickets. False. <laughs> I have never participated in a circle jerk. That is <laughs> false. Oh, <laughs> Jay, you were so and know, close. And I know for a fact, well, I couldn't resist the joke either way. You were so <laughs> close to a thousand. Uh, uh, indeed, it was with Debbie Reynolds, not uh, Talia right. Shire. So that is good false. Good morning. Uh, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> he is not a swum around Manhattan Island. Uh, he did shave his armpits to get Mitchum off. You Could know, not get that fucking shit off my, my armpit hair. It won't scrub out? I guess I, I was an early user. I was a prototype. This was in, in, in uh, college. I was sweating like a pig. Did I go on? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> shave it off. Uh, uh, he did off. not eat his weight in fried crickets. No. I think you ate just like a couple pounds shy of your weight. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and he uh, has never participated. He's lying about that. <laughs> I'll just tell you right now. He's lying about well, that. Well, we weren't sitting in a circle. <laughs> uh, it was a square jerk. <laughs> wow. So, a uh, rhomboid jerk. <laughs> Uh, seven to four, Stephen Weber has won this round of, uh, of Celebrity Liar, which means that, Stephen, you've got five chances at winning $44 uh -huh. million dollars for yourself uh, and that's, to that's cure That's about my chances, uh, Crohn's right? Five and, and 44 colitis. million. Uh, actually, the chances, actually. if you throw that ticket on the ground, the <laughs> yeah. chances that it will turn into $44 million are just slightly <laughs> worse right. than the chances of that that's actually, actually winning. Right. But there's uh, one shot for Fantastic. you today. Thank you. And, uh, Listen, I want to thank uh, both of you for coming. Uh, listen, and we want to thank you. Yes, and uh, <laughs> Jay Kogan and Stephen Weber both played really well and entertained us gracefully. I also want to thank our beautiful chat jockey Louise Rowe. Thanks. Great yes. job. Thanks. Say bottom. Say bottom. Bum. Bottom. bottom. And she does bottom. a great American. We already bottom. heard. Sure. Yes. See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> As her IQ plummets. It does. <laughs> right? right. I, I also want to thank Robin Roseanne and Michael Davis Woo! and Edwards and everyone else at the Room Live. Yay! And if you're not coming to theroomlive.com every day, you're making a big mistake. There's great stuff here. There's music. There's authors. Yeah. There's cooking. There's why us. go to Facebook? Yeah. Why go to that? It's so dumb. It's so good here. <laughs> Thanks really uh, for watching, Celebrity Liar. Bye. Bye. Woo!